Police says they linked three teens to the recent theft of a truck. But evidence found inside one teen's homes that has deputies worried these kids may be more than one-time criminals. Our Aaron Murray picks up the story. Oh, my truck. Even after 30 smells, years of contract work, Dan Smith demon, admits I mean, he can yeah, still learn was, a thing or two. Uh, it was a wake-up call for me, too. Tuesday, you know, he left the like keys in his truck, and within minutes, I mean, it was gone. It's hopeless. I mean, you're kind of looking up and down. Did I leave it in neutral? I mean, it can't be stolen. But it was stolen. And $5,000 worth of tools also gone. Within minutes, Douglas County deputies were on the case, and a day later... I got a phone call from the pastor at Omaha Bible Church, and he said, Dan, did you lose your checkbook? Surveillance video at Omaha Bible Church captured someone driving the truck and dumping things into a dumpster. Along with his checkbook, there were several other items inside the dumpster, including all but one of his tools. Smith says this gave the investigating deputy a hunch. Said... Them kids are right over there. I feel it. I know it. Um, he did some stuff on his computer, left. I was in the dumpster still pulling stuff out when he called me and said, found your truck. Deputies then put a and GPS tracking device really on the truck, waited until it moved, the and then arrested pass. three but teens he, driving he got, it. I don't think that young offenders really grasp the reality of how dangerous their activities are. Lieutenant William Rin says they searched one of the teens' homes. What deputies found inside concerned them. They found three masks along with duct tape and another card key fob. This is a picture of that evidence, a concerning combination deputies are investigating to see any connection to other crimes. And them poor kids never stood a chance. Smith feeling good to have the truck. This stolen piece of equipment back in my hand. I'm very thankful. Thank you, Lord. And to be back on the job. Now, the call telling Smith about his checkbook and the tools being in the dumpster, that was huge in this case. But perhaps even bigger was the experience that the deputy investigating had, Deputy McGuire. Well, Erin Murray reporting, and she was going to point out the fact that the deputy realized that the way these kids had dumped the uh, valuable tools that it seemed to tell him that they were inexperienced thieves and, and uh, good work on his part. Again, here's a picture of the evidence. Deputies are asking the public to call in if you believe any of this links to other crimes. Call 444-STOP with information.